Hello, this is the basics on how to use Repetier Host for 3D printing. Uh, first step is you need to connect your printer by pressing the connect button in the upper right hand or upper left hand corner. Uh, it will turn green when you have it connected. Um, if you need to, you can change any settings in your uh, config under printer settings. The second step you're going to do. Uh, most likely the printer will be uncalibrated, so you need to get yourself right out of easy mode by clicking over in your upper right hand corner. Now turn red, taking you out of easy mode. Uh, you'll start off by going to manual control. This is where you can control your printer through the software when it's connected. Um, this is also where you home all your axes. Um, the numbers are what position each axis is in, and you can home them by Pressing the buttons with the little houses, and this button here homes all three axes at once. The numbers will turn black once the axes are homed. You can still manually you can you can only manually control them once you have homed it, and it will show you the value that it is at. Um, this here controls your extruder. So positive value, values extrude, and then negative values extract. Uh, you can control your Feed rate, flow rate, fan, and bed and extruder temperatures. Um, you can just toggle them on and off, and you can set which temperature you want. Um, then you can also have a parked position, which is already set on the most printers. That will it's like it's almost, it's like a home position, but it's in a set different place, and that's where it will go when it's done when a print is done. Um, so next off, you go to your object placement. So I have an object right here. You move it around with right click, and move the camera around with left click. Um, your objects are here. You press the plus button right here to add an object. Uh, you can click the object, and you can do things like scale it. So 0.5 will make it half as big, and 2 will make it twice as big. Um, you can scale the maximum print size that will fit in your print bed, and you can also just reset it. And there's also a rotate um, cross section view and a mirror view. Next, once you have placed your object, you can uh, move to the slicer tab. So this will slice it and generate your G code. So you go ahead and you can you can already have your slicer configured. So when you click configure, it will launch slicer, and you can change all your settings. Uh, but so you don't need to do that. Um, so when you're ready, you can click slice with slicer, and it will generate your G code file. If you need to, you can just check this box and you can check this box and override any of the slicer settings if you need to quickly change uh, fill density or patterns, and those will not override your file. So once you slice, it will take you to the print preview window, and it will show you the lines of which print will print at. You can save this to a file, or save for an SD print, which saves it in a special format. If you need to use an SD card, you can manually edit the G code, and if you want, uh, you can change some views to see how quickly it's printing, like right here will show you all the travel positions and like what paths it'll go. So when you are ready to print, you can just press print and it will start printing. And right now I am just have it hooked up to a virtual printer so it's not actually printing. So it just ran through what it would do if it did print. I'll show you visualization. Um, and then it should be done. Uh, after print, it turns off the extruder and the heated bed and cool off.